Welcome back everyone. You may have an issue where your Nintendo Switch model just isn't charging the controllers or the Joy-Cons. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons. The easiest way to go ahead and fix this problem is to determine whether your console is on or off and if your console is able to charge up. So if your console, you know, if you grab a USB Type-C cable or your charging cable and you plug it into the bottom of your Nintendo Switch and you notice that your console is charging but the Joy-Cons aren't charging themselves, well, what you can do is go ahead and eject these joy cons from your controller so go ahead and click the button on the back to go ahead and eject them so we'll just use the left one for an example and all you want to do is go ahead and take a look at the joy con themselves and in this case what can happen is your joy con for some reason can actually go ahead and go faulty so what you can do here in an easy way to fix it is to look on the side of your joy con you know if it's discovered and you see these lights and that's great but you want to make sure there's nothing kind of you know corroding around the side of your joy con if they're very very old you want to go ahead and make sure that the bottom portion right here that there's nothing pretty much affecting these joy cons from getting a charge from here now another thing, if you have a skin or something, you wanna make sure there's nothing blocking here. Another thing is on the side of your Joy-Con here, you wanna go ahead and make sure that there isn't you know, corrosion or anything here either. And you can even grab a napkin or a cotton swab and try to clean out the inside of this specific you know, Joy-Con entry point. Because if this has an issue, then pretty much you're not going to be able to charge that Joy-Con. So. so that is pretty much the easiest way to fix this in my experience. And you wanna go ahead and go and slide this back into place like this and that may end up fixing it. Now, if it's one Joy-Con that's broken, then go ahead and try it out. But typically, Joy-Cons go bad around the same time because you purchased them around the same time. So your, so your Joy-Cons could potentially be, you know, getting broken as well. So you can always try replacing the Joy-Cons, seeing, oh, seeing if other ones work, and then you can pretty much go on from there. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace, peace out till then.